in with another shower. And uh, again, not much going on here on the ceiling. You can see it's not completely enclosed. So, but here's some things to pay attention to. We're going to get the uh, hard water out. It's not too much there. You can tell a little bit, but there is some, uh, there are some um, mildewish stains. And you can see right there, we're going to get that up naturally without bleach. We're not using bleach, but we are using a neutral cleaner in here. We're using the Odaban neutral cleaner. And uh, then we're going to rinse. But these grout lines here, this, if you can look, these grout lines aren't dirty. These are actually gray. And it looks like either the homeowner or the contractor tried to color them. You see they're they're, they're sealed in some way, like a color seal or a, a marker or paint or something. They're, this is how they actually are supposed to look. It's gray. I don't know if you can tell. And uh, this is what they look like. But you can see that they've been, they've been painted. So that darkness right there. That's normal. That's that's actually the that's what the mortar looks like. Right? It's supposed to look like there. It's not it's not dirty, it's it's gray. So these were painted over. I mean to the trained eye. Now some somebody that's doing a drive by on my video may not understand what I'm talking about. So it's best not to ask in the comment section if you don't understand, because I'm not going to have time to explain it. But um, because I do get some ridiculous grout comments on the channel, and you know I don't know if you're trolling me or what. If you're not, then just watch more videos. If you are, I'm just not going to answer you. But you can see here. Look. See. And you look back, that's just a cover-up job. Take a close look. Now compare it to this. Look at the mortar there. Compare it to here. It's not the same. So this is essentially painted. So when we clean here, we have to be careful. It looks like they wanted the white uh, grout, grout lines and they're not here. So we'll keep that in mind. We'll give it a deep clean, but like this kind of stuff here. See it's starting to turn yellow. We'll clean that without bleach. See how it's kind of orange here? We'll clean that without bleach. And um, we'll use an aesthetic product for the glass, neutral product. Plus, we're going to agitate here too. We're going to use a doodle boat. So, that might, may or may not make the video, depending. I have to also, I have a lot of work to finish up today, so um, I'll have to keep you posted. And this is theirs, this isn't mine. So, stay tuned. So we used the scotch spray, got here, and the metals. And um, now we're going to apply the chemical and then give it a little scrub.
We're still spraying down. And uh, just like this. Uh, we are getting the grout lines, and we'll get it with the chemicals somewhat. Uh, let's take a look here, which is an impossible area to get with the brush. Now, right there, you see. Now we're gonna we're gonna get that right now. Let's get a little closer. That's as close as we can get, I guess. Wait, let's check it out. See, just like that. Obviously, I can't film all that, but keep that in mind that I'm showing you little bits and pieces of this, and then you'll see the uh, finished product when I'm done. Um, but, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time to, to film this. In addition to getting the ground and the chemicals, we're also using this doodle bug. Now, I can only operate it with one hand. So I can give you an idea how I use it, but this is obviously, this requires two hands to use properly. And, you know, we're just gonna go over all the uh, tile and then give it another rinse. So, you know, this is really good for, you know, just getting, see, in long strokes here, you see what we're doing? See that? Really good for that. And we're gonna get this whole area. This just gives you an idea of how to use it. I'm gonna get it with two hands and knock it out and then get to the rinsing process and then finish this glass here. So now we're gonna do the uh, rinse process. And see, this is not a get on your hands and knees type of cleaning, you see? We're not getting on our hands and knees. Everything is done by this machine and the doodle bug. So it makes it very easy. So you save your back, you save your joints, and you get a more effective cleaning. This is just a better clean. So now this is just tap water. We're gonna do a rinse and then we're gonna do a quick wipe down with a mop and some microfiber cloths. So stay tuned.
So got a little squeegee there, then a little towel, and uh, these, you know, really good for, just get that, you see? Scale free, look at that. Let me wipe that. And um, I got a mop that I'm gonna use for here. Uh, you can just get a flat mop. Maybe I'll show that. Let you see here, wipe that there. Uh, we're not gonna squeegee the glass because everything is very rinse. I'm gonna wipe it again. See these? Wipe that really well. See? Just all around, go around. And we're gonna get the mop here for the big wall space. I'm gonna wipe. All this was on there. We're gonna wipe this. See, real good. This is soap underneath here. So, you know, that gets soapy at the bottom. So you wanna wipe that really good. Let's move this side to side, you know. And keep it like this. So the, uh, the metal doesn't rust onto here. You know, that it won't come out. Matter of fact, we'll just put that down there. And, uh, okay, we'll uh, keep you posted. So, oh yeah, and right here, they do have a rinse nozzle. You see, really good for rinse. Turbo, and then 15 degrees, you know. So, this will really make your shower cleanings a lot easier and quicker less labor. You don't kill yourself. You don't have to use bleach in some of these areas, which is very caustic and the vapors are very caustic as well. You have to breathe it in when you're in these enclosed areas. You can do a good job without damaging the grout and um, clean everything. So what I use, it's just a regular mop. You see, you just go there and you do want to kind of dry it so the hard water doesn't develop. But I'm, trying, I'm doing this with one hand. I know those people that are critical. Please understand. See how you can get it, you know, this whole area, these large areas. See? It's very hard to with one hand again, I just can't stress it enough because people don't get it. But I'm gonna finish up the rest. This year we, uh, we it's still damp, but we did kind of dry everything. Um, you could see everything looks really nice. Uh, so, take a look at here earlier. Remember the orange that was right in between there. If we were using a brush or even another kind of edge, even with the little spinner from a truck mount, they're not getting right there. But with that attachment, you can see we wanded it with the wand. We're able to get, you know, right there in between, in between there, here, and uh, chemical free. And you saw the we cleaned the grouts chemical free with, let's just take a look, it's still wet, but the orange and the different colors, it's all gone. Um, it's all gone and uh, you can see how much better everything looks. Um, came out nice. Everything is shiny and brilliant. Um, the glass, again, you see how great the glass looks. 
and anybody can do this. You know, if I wasn't filming, obviously I would have finished a lot sooner. But everything came out nice, um, easy to buy these tools at uh, Amazon and Home Depot. Every cleaner should have them, maybe even a homeowner if you clean your own bathrooms. Like this, a pretty good sized shower. We're able to get every square inch. And it, everything looks great. Cleaned it safely without the uh, use of bleach, okay? Without the use of caustic fumes. And with a 320 PSI, you know, if you stand back close and even if you get close enough, um, it's not enough to damage the uh, grout lines. You always want to test in inconspicuous area, but it's not always, the, it's usually pretty safe. Um, further you stand back, the less uh, PSI it's going to be. So keep that in mind. When it says 320, stand further back, it's not 320 anymore. If you want to add more PSI, you stand closer, further back, it's less. Um, so we applied the chemical, we did a good rinsing, we dried, uh, everything looks great. Customers would be real happy. And uh, we did this without breaking our back, without damaging our joints, uh, getting on our hands and knees and scrubbing. Because I'm able to put all my body weight into that doodle bug when I want to scrub, the easy way, okay? And the, uh, the PSI from the, the Ryobi, you know, can clean these grout lines really nice, right? So I would say you probably, you don't have to do this all the time. This is probably, you know, uh, if this is your home, a once a month type thing, I don't even think you need to uh, bring in the pressure washer, uh, but maybe uh, twice a year. Um, because a lot of this, uh, if you keep the humidity down, it won't return. So anyways, thanks for watching.